Hello my friends. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you the different parts and sections of Android Studio. So you'll get familiar with this IDE. So you wanna be a professional Android app developer, but you don't know where you should start, what things you should learn, you came to the right place. Welcome to our top bestseller Android app development course, a comprehensive program designed to equip you with the skills and knowledge required to excel in the exciting field of Android app development. The first section is the main menu. Inside the main menu, you can make and do several actions like creating new project, saving the project, opening a, an existing project, managing the IDE settings, edit the toolbars and other sections, inspect, analyze the code, build project, clean project, and generating signed APKs. Run the project, debug the project, and the profile the project. Managing SDK, the device, and the resources. Integrating version control. So we, see, we will see the VCS later on in, in a separate section and many other actions. These are the main actions that we are gonna uh, use later on uh, with our projects. These are the main actions, but you can do many other actions. You can access them by clicking on the file, new, open, uh, open uh, the project, the new project, settings, pro project settings, and so you can see the file properties, the project structure, settings, and bunch of other actions you can do. So I will click on settings. You can access this uh, menu. And you can see the editor, plugins, version control, build, execution, and bunch of other actions you can do. Okay, so these are inside these uh, are inside the project structure. We can also uh, see the, the edit tab. So here we can cut, copy, paste, delete, find, toggle case, join line, duplicates, and other actions. If we go to the view, tools, windows, see these are, uh, these are the tool windows can see them uh, on the on the sides gradle device manager device uh, file explorer and emulator and other things okay so you can manage these toolbars as i told you okay the appearance you can check for the toolbar the status bar toolbar uh, tool window bars navigation bar that we'll see in the next uh, couple of minutes show siblings recent files, type info, and other actions. If we go to navigate, we can uh, navigate to other uh, sections or highlighted errors or lines or symbols or the bookmarks. The code, we can check for the uh, overriding, method, uh, overriding methods. You can implement them, implement the methods of interface or uh, inheritance or uh, or other things that we are going to see later on and bunch of other actions refractoring build the project this is the menu that we are going, going to use uh, make the project analyze apk generate signed apk or signed bundle and clean the project run we also we are going to uh, to run the project from here debug profile and others the tools, you can see the SDK manager here, the device manager here, the Kotlin Groovy console, uh, XML action, task and context, uh, integrating Firebase. You can see 
we can integrate Firebase, the, the online database, the app, uh, app uh, links assistant and other resource managers and other uh, bunch of useful things. The VCS enable version control integration and other integration on GitHub and other resources. Later on, we have a new section about it and a standalone section, the window and the help. Okay, these are the main actions in, inside uh, Android Studio you can do. Let's move to uh, another section. The navigation bar helps you navigate through your project and open files for editing. It provides a more compact view for of the structure visible in the project window. The toolbar lets you carry out a wide vary, a range of actions, including running your app and launching Android tools. It contains shortcuts for the main menu actions. Think about it as the most uh, useful shortcuts from the main menu. The tool window bar runs around the outside of the IDE window and contains the buttons that allow you to expand or collapse individual tool windows. So you can start from here, from the project, you can click on it, you can hide or open the project menu, the resource manager, the structure, the favorites, build variants, version control, to do problems, terminal, logcat. We are going to work uh, with logcat um, uh, in, in the next videos and other projects. And profile, we will see the profile of uh, your app, how it behaves, app inspection, emulator, device file explorer, device manager, Gradle. The states bar displays the states of your project and the IDE itself, as well as any warnings or messages. Searching for specific action. At any time, you can search across your source code, databases, actions, elements of the user interface, and so on by double pressing the shift key or clicking the magnifying glass in the upper right hand corner of Android Studio window. This can be very useful if, for example, you are trying to locate a particular IDE action that you have forgotten how to trigger. So in this video, we have to, uh, a very good example and very good tour and overview about the tabs and the different sections of Android uh, Studio. Now we are, go uh, we are going in the next videos um, to dive into each section and each particular uh, uh, section. And uh, we will see more and more details in the next videos.